The final move for the space shuttle endeavor from horizontal to vertical. It's underway at the California Science Center. We showed it to you first in our 10 p.m. hour. The craft is being placed into a launch-ready configuration for display. Fox 11's Ed Laskos, he's there live, and this is a sight to behold, Ed. Safety first, huh? Oh, oh, you're right about that. Everybody involved with safety here and very carefully lifting Endeavor. It's last flight airborne again after, well, it's last flight 13 years ago in orbit. Now it's just above, about 200 feet above the ground. You're going into the Science Center. Mikey will give you a look. There she is, Endeavor. Still noticeable. The cone and some workers there. It's wrapped in protective, protective white plastic, but you can't miss that sight. How impressive, huh? Better look up top. Sky Fox, we go. Now you're looking live. The shuttle, it's in the vertical position. Now obviously and it's, see that yellow that yellow sling that is uh, hanging down from that huge crane that is the same sling that NASA used to put the shuttle in place on the launch pad at Cape Canaveral for all of its liftoffs in the space they're using it here very carefully it's a slow process so the video this actually started as we take a look at the video maybe oh about uh, an hour or so ago and it started ahead of schedule because the the wind conditions were perfect here the wind died down so construction crews engineers decided now was the time to move they thought it might happen around two o'clock in the morning, but taking advantage of that no win situation, safety first, because this, uh, as you know, is a, is a shuttle that was built as a glider with a huge wingspan, so any kind of wind that would blow through would make this thing perhaps airborne disastrous. So that's why they're doing it now very carefully, and everybody's asking, what is this going to look like when it's finally done? Well, it'll be in place along with the two solid rocket boosters and the external fuel tank, just like it was on the launch pad, and you'll actually be able to, to look inside. One of the cargo bay doors will be open. Listen to some of what you're going to see when this is done done. So people can look inside the payload bay and then the hatch is going to be open so people can look into the mid deck. They can, the flight deck is, is above that. They can walk at the very top, they can walk out onto a platform, a glass platform that looks down on the nose of the, of the orbiter and they can see into the flight deck. It'll be very, it'll be wonderful, very exciting. Oh, you're telling me. Very exciting. I cannot wait. Everybody cannot wait. You're looking live. That's some of the construction crews here. Talk about safety here because that, that 90 ton space shuttle, it is priceless, historic value. So they're checking on that big sling just to make sure it's attached carefully before they start to move it up. Again, 200 feet up. They've got to clear all that scaffolding and then move it in and set it gently down inside this little well that's been built here to put, attach it to the, the solid rocket boosters and that fuel tank. Unbelievable sight here. We still don't know when it'll be done. No final decision on when you'll be able to come and see this. For now, we are live at a very exciting science center. Back to the west side we go. They should, Ed, they should hire you as the play-by-play -play announcer as this goes yeah. from yeah. horizontal <laughs> to vertical. You're the best at it. All right, Ed, thanks so much.